Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com. As you can see, in honor of Halloween weekend, I am wearing my costume, making a fool of myself. But we are here to review the latest update to the Android operating system, Android 4.4 KitKat. I have it running on my Nexus 4 at the moment. I will be getting a Nexus 5 very soon, so expect uh, an unboxing video review, all that good stuff. So you'll be seeing a lot of coverage on the Nexus 5 very soon, so please subscribe if you'd like to. But first of all, I do want to show you guys the new boot animation. I'll show that off right away. Uh, right now I'm running a custom ROM. It's just a, a ROM port on my Nexus 4. So there it is. Here's the new boot animation. Hopefully you guys can see it. It's great. I really like it. It's very minimalistic, which goes along with uh, Android 4.4 KitKat. So I wanted to show that off, but now it's booting up. So I'm going to hop over to my desk and we're going to take a look at the operating system. All right, so here is a closer look at the operating system. As I said, this is a Nexus 4. I wanted to prove to you guys that I am actually running KitKat. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into settings, scroll down, go to about phone, and you'll see Android version is 4.4, which is KitKat. I'm gonna quickly tap an Android version, and here is the, the new uh, Easter egg doing that, uh, flipping it back and forth. Okay, press and hold on it, and you'll see Android in the KitKat style logo android 4.4 and that's it so there's your uh there's your easter egg in kitkat pretty neat so anyways right away you're greeted with a new launcher the google experience launcher you will see uh there are ways to install uh, these apps, a couple of them I'll let you know. I'll link to where you can get them on your phone. So you can install this launcher on your phone, actually. I'll post a link in the description for all that good stuff. But right away, you'll see when you swipe to the left, it goes straight to Google Now, which is over there, which is interesting um, that it's right there. A nice little animation there. You'll see the bar changes to white instead of transparent as it opens up. Uh, swiping to the right, um, of course, just more, uh, more pages, etc. Press and hold on the screen and it brings up a list of options. That's where you add widgets now. When you go to your app drawer, you'll see it is just apps. There's no widgets or anything like that. Um, so it's straight up your app drawer in alphabetical order. So if you wanna add widgets, you have to press and hold on the home screen, press widgets. And of course you have a long list of your standard widgets that come with all your apps, all the great uh, Google widgets as well. So if I wanna add a digital clock, press and hold, put on your home screen as usual, and it adds it right there. You can still resize them, drag and drop, pull it over and it resizes it. Uh, also, when you press and hold on your launcher, you have wallpapers. There are some new KitKat wallpapers. I'll post a download link for those in the description if you want those. So I got you guys hooked up with all your KitKat uh, goodness. You'll see if I want to set a wallpaper, I just hit set wallpaper and it changes right away. You'll notice it is transparent. I'll put a better wallpaper on. It's transparent in a sense of you can see that uh, there's no black background at the bottom, so it makes the screen look even bigger, not having that line that's a kind of a cutoff line. So just kind of showing you guys that, I'll set this wallpaper back. And up at the top as well in the notification drawer, you'll see there's no just bar. It uh, is transparent all the way through. Just a nice clean look to it. I also want to make a quick note that if you wanted to add a new page, all you have to do is press on a widget or an app and just drag it over to the right of your last page and it'll add a new one. So you'll see now I have uh, three home pages instead of instead of two. So that's it's very simple to add a new one. You can't do it in a sense of there's no plus button on the right side here. Just want to point that out for you guys. There's settings though, so we can go into the settings of this Google Experience Launcher. You can turn off Google now, so you do not need to have that on. Some people may like it, some people may not. You do not need to have it there. You can turn that right off. You can change what your phone search is gonna search for. There are voice settings I'll get to in just a second. Accounts, notifications, all that good stuff through Google now. But anyways, I can just say, okay, Google, what's the weather like in Ann Arbor tomorrow? forecast for Ann Arbor is 48 degrees with a chance of showers. There you go. So very quickly, you'll see it recognize it. It's basically the microphone is always listening for that keyword, OK Google. How are you doing today? It's not going to respond with anything. It's just going to do a Google search of that. But uh, So you'll see uh, it's great. It responds very well to your voice. So you have a very quick way of getting to Google Now. Very similar to the Moto X, actually, if you guys are familiar with it. I'll post a review video soon, actually, of that device. So anyways, also you will notice it has a completely new look to it, uh, design-wise. You'll notice some application uh, icons have been updated, the camera, 
uh, the phone icon, all that stuff. Even the app drawer icon's been updated. A bunch of different apps have been updated as well. I know there's a new downloads app. There's a new email application as well, which gives a more Gmail feel to it. I'll just post a picture of it. I don't feel like setting up an email address. But yeah, so there's new app icons, which are nice. I actually really like them. The camera one's great. The dialer's great. Um, and then up at the top, if I can zoom in, hopefully this works, uh, you will see that there are new icons for your uh, status, essentially, with battery, signal, Wi-Fi. Um, they're all just white basically. So there's no real color to them, you'll notice. You pull down um, and we go to the, I guess, our settings here. You'll see that those are all white as well. There's no blue to them. Let me grab my Moto X so you guys can compare to what I'm talking about. Uh, we can go ahead and see that there's blue as opposed to white in here. Hopefully the camera picks up these color changes. So you'll see it's a little bit uh, a little bit different. Obviously the screens are different, So, but you'll notice that there is more color to uh, Android 4.3 than there is to Android 4.4 KitKat. Also in regards to design, when I go ahead and go into the actual settings, you'll see there is still some color with some, uh, if this on button is blue, but uh, you also notice when you over scroll, it is just white now. It's not even blue, that is a white color. I don't know if you can tell because of the background and the camera, but it is definitely just a white color now. So uh, it seems like they're going with a more minimalistic design, which is different, of course, which uh, some people are gonna like, some people don't. I personally don't mind it at all. I do like the blue color, the hollow color, so I'm glad they still kept some of it. So uh, again, per it's just a total personal opinion if you like the new design of some of these or not. All right, next I want to talk about the new dialer, which is great. I really like it. When you bring up the dialer right away, you can search for contacts and nearby places. So you can start searching for businesses, etc. You don't have to go into your Google search. You can just go into your dialer and search for them. Uh, you'll see your favorites are up at the top. I have a few there. Uh, you can also press all contacts and it brings up your entire contact list. You'll see you can scroll through by letter. I might be blurring these out. Obviously, I'm going to be blurring these out because there's numbers. So sorry about that, guys. But anyways, you can go ahead and bring up the dialer here. There is settings in the bottom right, import, export, new contact, all contacts, and settings as well. We can go into settings real quick. Caller ID by Google, which is a new feature. Uh, what it does is if you get a call from an unknown number, if you don't have a contact in there, it's going to go ahead and do a quick search and look for a business, uh, apparently. And if it finds a business, it's going to let you know who's calling you. So that's a very neat feature. Finally, someone's implementing that. You can press this button down here and it brings up a dialer. It's a little more compact. Uh, you can start typing numbers and you'll notice that it brings up a list of people that you can call. So based on the name or the number that you're typing. And then you just press the call button to call, of course. There's a re history as well for calls that you've made. So a nice new dialer. I really like it. it. It's smoother. It's definitely smoother than the previous one. It's very fluid. That's one thing about KitKat is it's much faster and much smoother. Another quick thing I wanted to talk about is with play music, when you're playing music, I have uh, an album open up. I actually want to show you guys something else. When I hit play, it'll say you can only have 10 devices synced with your library. So I'm going to manage devices and you'll see you can complete the action using these two apps. It's just a little different. It's been updated this screen, so I kind of wanted to point that out for you guys. It's just a little different design. All right, so going back to the Play Music app, I'm gonna go ahead and play this song. Of course, I know you guys wanna listen to some Daft Punk, but for copyright reasons, I cannot play the song, so I'm leaving it on silent, sorry about that. Anyways, uh, when I go ahead and go to the lock screen now and open it up, you will notice it is now full screen album art, which is a nice little new feature there. Um, what you can also do is you have lock screen widgets, of course. Um, I have Google Now on there, you can just swipe over. One new thing about the lock screen as well is this little camera icon down there that wasn't there before. You could press it and it starts bringing the camera over. So you just swipe over to the right in the camera or you could just swipe over to the right from the top of the screen as well and it quickly opens up the camera. Camera app wise, there's really not that much different. Um, you can press and hold on the screen and it brings up more options, all that good stuff. So pretty much the same as it was before. So I'm not really gonna cover the camera too much. With the Nexus 5, I'm sure you'll get some uh, new features. We'll see what uh, comes out with the hardware of the Nexus 5, how, how the camera performs. Hopefully it's better than the Nexus 4 camera. Another nice new feature is called immersive mode. So I'm gonna go to play books and I'm gonna read uh, Alice in Wonderland. So when I go to Alice in Wonderland and it loads up the book, 
and I start reading it, you'll see it switches to full screen mode, which is called immersive mode. So the, the notification bar is gone, and so are my back home and recent running apps buttons. So if you want to get those back, you can swipe up from the bottom, and it brings them back. Or you can swipe down from the top, and it brings them back. So it's nice. Um, I know it's nice because some people, when they play, I believe you can do it during games as well and movies. So you can have a full screen experience when playing games and movies. Um, when kids play games, they can sometimes accidentally hit the home button and they don't know how to get back into uh, the certain game. So that's kind of nice for, for just that reason alone. I know I've heard of that issue with some people. Of course, I want to make a note there's a new messaging application. It is just synced with the Hangouts application. There is no standalone messaging app, so you are pretty much stuck with using the Hangouts app for your messaging if you do use a Nexus device and use the Google experience, of course. I also, of course, want to make a note of the new Hangouts app, which should be coming to your device soon, where you can, it's basically, there's no standalone messaging app, so you use the Hangouts app to send text messages and also uh, your messages, uh, your Hangouts messages as well. I'm going to obviously blur out a lot of this, sorry about that, guys, but um, yeah, so you can just go into settings, and I believe there's a way to uh, sync your SMS, there it is, so you can sync SMS, it's just a new Hangouts app. So it's very cool, they're trying to do that. It's not as good as iMessage yet, where you can default to iMessage and have it back up with just text message over uh, your mobile network. But hopefully they'll get there eventually. Um, again, sorry about blurring out anything, any personal information, I'm pretty self-explanatory there. All right, also you'll see there is a new keyboard. Um, new in a sense of, you'll see the gesture trail is now white instead of that blue, which is different. Uh, they also included a new feature where you don't even need to pick up your, your, uh, your finger when you're swiping. You can say, this keyboard is great and this keyboard odds gray so I tried um, what you can do is move down to the space bar when you want to put a space after a word I this is my first time trying this feature so I don't know how well it's gonna work so you can say how is your day going how boss your stub going. So I don't know if it's really gonna work well. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. If I'm doing it wrong, fill me in. But uh, you'll see there's a new keyboard, so hopefully it is, it is better. Also with KitKat, there's a lot more emoji support. So in the keyboard itself, you can, you'll see these smileys here. There's just a bunch of emojis that you can use. Uh, you'll see there's a lot of them. I mean, there's a good amount included with this keyboard. Uh, various settings as well, smileys, symbols, all that good stuff. So uh, I know a lot of people have been wanting this on Android. It is now here. Um, you definitely got official emoji support with it included in the Google keyboard. And just a couple final other features. Multitasking should be a lot faster, so when you switch between various applications, it should just be overall quicker. Again, this is a custom ROM, so uh, but overall, that my experience has been great. Uh, KitKat has been very smooth. I haven't noticed any lag whatsoever on my Nexus 4 running this ROM, uh, but KitKat is great in a sense of it is extremely smooth. Otherwise, though, uh, some new features I want to show in the notification panel. There's a new location option, which... I'm very glad they included. I was tired of using a widget on my home screen to toggle, day, uh, toggle your GPS on and off. So you can turn that on and off. Uh, they have different modes, high accuracy, battery saving, and device only as well. Certain apps can use your location services. Uh, if you press and hold on it, I haven't tried it yet. If you press and hold on it, it just turns it off, which it should. So that's uh, toggling them on and off. You can obviously have to agree there. But yeah, so there's a new feature. Also in the settings application, you'll notice that there's tap and pay. There's a new NFC uh, capability through host card emulation. It's a little complicated. I'll link to more information in the description if you wanted to read up on it. But there's just kind of a new way to handle NFC and to uh, pay for certain things. But again, that's it. That is all I wanted to show. Uh, essentially all the new features in KitKat 4.4. Hopefully you guys liked this video. Hopefully it helped you out. Of course, you can still use two fingers. All that good stuff that was still in 4.3. I just wanted to talk about all the, the new features. So let me know what you think. If you do like uh, the new look to it, the new feel, let me know. Leave a comment. Please subscribe to me as well. I'd really appreciate it. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.